talk a little special teams okay. right now. So third because game. I am joined by one of the greatest to ever do it. This guy right here is Dante Hall, former Kansas City Chiefs legend, a two-time Pro Bowler, known as the X Factor, known as the human joystick, and as a guy when I was just starting to cover the league, it was viewed as the most dangerous return man in the NFL. Dante and I were having our conversation in the commercial break last week about who are the best to ever do it. And then we said, who are your favorites? Big difference now. Who are your big favorites? Difference. Not who we think the best it. are, our favorites. Who do we like? And because this man is here right now, we're going to take you off the list. We've seen your highlights on the show the last couple of weeks. We're going to do our top three favorites. I'm going to start off with my number three, and it's Brian Mitchell. I thought Brian Mitchell was the ultimate gamer, and he did it for three different teams. You might look at him as a Washington player. You might look at him as an Eagles player. But I know NFC opponents would look at him, and they would strike fear in their hearts. This guy did it all. And we want to talk about just the reliability, the consistency. Yes. Put up Hall of Fame numbers. If you really want to talk about it, he put up Hall of Fame numbers. And take a look at the company when you talk about all-time scrimmage yards, where he's at. I'm not kidding. Oh, man. Jerry Rice is number one in the league's history. Just less than 300 yards behind He's number two. Brian Mitchell. Wow. Brian Mitchell doing it for Washington, doing it for the Eagles. Pro Bowler every year. Love the way he carried himself and love the way he brought it in the biggest games in the NFC East in cold weather when they needed it most. Not the flashiest guy, but maybe the most durable and the most reliable. Who's your number three? That's impressive. Look at the other guys. I know. He's on. You're on the list with those guys. Impressive. My number three, we're going to go with Mel Gray. Oh, uh, the best. Had, the best. I had the yeah. pleasure of meeting Mel Gray at a couple of uh, golf tournaments. Really loved the guy. He's also a great magician. And he magician. was magical. Yes, great. He was a great uh, He was ma magical on the field as well. Wow. Um, they just threw that in there for us. Yeah, and from 1990 to 96, he led all categories. I look at him as a lion. I don't remember him on the title. That's when I, I remember him as a lion. Oilers, also. yeah. So he was the, one of the first of the little guys uh -huh. to, um, to get it done. But here we go. First in all these categories. So during his day, he was the Devin Hester. He was the guy uh, during his era. And there you have it. The numbers back it up. When you were in college, it was early 90s, mid 90s. Was Mel Gray the guy? Was that the one you were like, oh, Mel Gray, I could be Yes, when guy. I played Tecmo Bowl, yeah. he was my uh, guy. And you'll soon see my other guy on Tecmo Bowl. I revealed him. Dante, have right. you seen Mel Gray perform magic? I have. What does he do? He does like these corn tricks. Uh, he does sleight of hand tricks. And How cool is that? And he Dance. also uh, does card tricks. Wow. He's legit. Wow. We got to get him on the show, Peter. Mel yeah. Gray. Do to magic. Be on the show. Production staff, please Let's get, get that. All that. Thank you. Uh, number two, uh, and this is kind of an obvious one. I, I just Dion is mine. Like, and I'm talking Falcons Dion on the, the dirt ball field, the old yeah. uh, Fulton County Stadium. Look at his legs. Dion, I, I remember going to a Monday night football game, Giants versus Cowboys, as a fan in the late '90s, and this was like Dion's like end of the Dion yeah. Dallas years. And Dion just taking back a, a kickoff, breaking the Giants fans' hearts, and just doing it because that's what Dion did. Um, we, this is the game right here, actually. This is it. Unbelievable. This is 97, I think. Here's the thing with Dion. Greatest corner of all time? Great. I could argue he's the greatest return man of all time. And when he had the ball, there might be anyone, no one who's more electric. Uh, Dion, of course, on this list with the greats of Mitchell and Tamaric Vanover. And Dion just did it all and was as electric as it comes. Dante, who's your number two? Well, I got, let me just say this about Dion. The thing, you just hit on it. The thing about Dion Sanders, he would go cover your number one guy mm -hmm. For three Jerry outs. Rises, Michael Irvins, and then he would go back and take a kick That's to a the point. That's why, for me, he's at the top of the list. If it wasn't for Devin Hester, he'd be my number one. But we're talking about our favorites, and yes. my favorite number two uh, guy is Eric Metcalf. There he Another is. Another guy that I learned about and played with on Tecmo Ball. Oh, look at that. Look at the wiggles in this guy. And he was so graceful. He probably has the prettiest stride. Can I get some Browns, Eric returns. Metcalf? Why are we showing Washington? I don't Washington remember him on Washington, Metcalf? but they, it's a hell of a play. Some B-roll of yeah. him on the Browns. Or Falcons. Right. Uh, or Falcons. <laughs> Cleveland yeah. Browns, Eric Metcalf was the best. Yeah, he was. He really was. This is a great play, though. Browns. And he, do, yeah. 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 Oh, do you watch the NFL? You know that oh. it's the Browns, Eric Metcalf. This is yes, it. Sir. This was on a game against Pittsburgh, too, where he had two huge back-breaking ones. Sorry there. Looks like a ballerina, doesn't he? Look he, at the he floor. He's just so graceful and light on his feet. Goes so to pretty. the Falcons and then plays wide receiver. There we go. Perfect. He gets 100 catches in a season. Is that true? Oh, wow. Yes, had 100, 100 catches. catches? I didn't know that. This guy, in that era? He was amazing. Eric Metcalf was amazing. Right. Loved him. That was it. Terry, of Look course. Look at that. The legacy. Go. 
This guy, his name rarely comes up, but look at that. The numbers back is up. Can I ask this? The There's this weird debate about his relation to DK Metcalf, Are which related? used to be a thing that people took for granted. It, he has come out and said, no, we're not. That we're not blood related to DK but yet Metcalf. his uncle is also named Eric. Like, but there's a different Eric thing. or something. It's like, we did a whole segment on it once, I but I do not think they're in relation. They're not related. They're related. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> finally, my favorite returner of all time is a no-brainer for me. And Kyle, uh, I know he's one of your favorite players of all time. Yeah. Uh, can we roll the Devin Hester highlights? Please be on Bears. Please be on Bears. Yo, I wanted the Ravens. Oh, here we go. Bears. <laughs> and this is this is the Monday night game that he obviously had against the Cardinals. One of the all-time great performances when he single-handedly with Erlacher, they came all the way back. Uh, anytime he was on the field, I can do a four-hour show on Devin Hester and what excitement he brought. Super Bowl, first play of the game, of course. That's when he became the GOAT. That was it. That was it. That He's was it. A, and he should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. He wasn't even he didn't get in. in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. I, he's been on one nomination now. Yeah. I, I can't imagine it's going to go two years. Devin Hester, the greatest to ever do it, I think, in the history of the 100%. game, and also my favorite. 100%. The he's, story, one, he's, he's one of my favorites. He's definitely the greatest. But I got to go for my favorite. Who's going to do it? Billy White, White Shoes Johnson, Johnson baby. <laughs> I mean, this guy was doing... Dante Hall, human joystick things back in the 60s and 70s. And he played for so many teams. But what? It's one particular return I hope they put up. Okay. Well, he goes Around. 360 three times. Here Please it, show that. With the, yeah. with the, Here it is. With it the wasn't for a touchdown, <laughs> but this is the epitome of Billy White Shoes. This Johnson is the right Billy here. White Shoes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like a Benny Hill commercial. But to have that style in, in, that, in those days was just And uh, also the celebrations, like, they didn't do that back then. He's one of the first. I'm not going to ask you come to on, dance Come on, again. now. Show, show the funky me. chicken show, with me. Come on. The funky come on. chicken. Funky like, chicken with me. It was like the knee. <laughs> That's it, baby. You look like, like a yeah. funky chicken. Yeah. This is the funky chicken. That's right? the funky. Yeah, you look like you Suzanne Summers. I can't that split move. I might split my jeans. But anyway, <laughs> Billy White Shoes Johnson. Let's see the list. My favorite all time. Here are favorites. Not the best, our favorites. Exactly. I went kind of chalk. You went with kind of nostalgic guys that, gosh, when I hear Mel Gray's name, I think of those Barry Sanders Lions teams. Eric Metcalf, you think of those early 90s and late 80s Browns teams. Exactly. Cool Great list here. Great if you list. at home have somebody, if you want to get in for Tameric Vanover, you let us know. Come on, <laughs> let's do it. There's our list. All right.